and we'll get started. So we're gonna come to a seated position here. We're gonna grab our bend. Bend is gonna go right behind the rib cage. Okay, and I'm gonna take my feet a little bit wider than my hips here. And then let's go ahead and cross our band. Okay, so it's kind of wrapping around our waist. Okay, and my elbows are nice and wide, my wrists are strong, and my knuckles are kind of facing in towards each other. Okay, and we're just gonna do some breathing here. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, draw the ribs in, and I want you to pull out lightly on the band. Okay, so as I inhale, I release my tension, I think expanding my rib cage out into the band. And then as I exhale, I cinch my waist, pull a little tension out into the band. I inhale. I exhale, draw the ribs in. Feel that deep compression through the abdominal wall. I inhale. I exhale. Okay, we're gonna do two more of those. Inhale, expand out and back through the rib cage, the diaphragm. Exhale, drawing in, cinching the waist here. We inhale. Last time, exhale. Nice, you guys. And then just keeping that little bit of tension out and kind of start feeling those shoulders work. We're just gonna do a little twist. So I want you to think lifting up, tall out of the spine, zipping up through the back of the legs. And you're just gonna rotate to the left. Okay, you're just thinking of wringing out the spine, like you're wringing out a towel, okay? Rotate to the right. Okay, I'm making sure I'm not just twisting with my arms, okay? I'm rotating from the rib cage and the spine, my arms follow. Rotate back. Rotate to the right. Opposite hip stays weighted down. Rotate center and release. Okay, take that band away for a sec. We're just gonna take hands behind the head now. Okay, and if you're jamming the shoulders down and back, see if you can get a little elevation. Get the hands right behind the base of the head. My elbows are wide. And I take an inhale. I want you to think about that breathing with the band. We draw the ribs down and back. Little twist. Okay, so I'm thinking of rotating from my obliques. Inhale, sit up tall. Rotate to the right. And center. Nice, you guys. So you should really be feeling that work in opposite obliques, okay, as you rotate. And back to your center, last time to each side. Inhale, twist, feel that compression, and then find a rotation. We're open through the chest. Inhale, back to your center, we have one more to the right. Nice, you guys, and bring it down. From here, just adjust. We're gonna go into soft, so I'm gonna have you bring hands up to this side. Let's take palms down. You're gonna take your inhale. You're gonna rotate to the right. How long can you reach your arms apart from each other? And then you're gonna reach for your pinky toe. As you reach, you're thinking of using your left obliques, almost like you're doing an ab curl. We're gonna do three little pulses. Pulse one, two, three. Come up to the side. Once you're up tall, you're gonna rotate through your center. Palms rotate down. Take your inhale to prepare. We rotate. Make sure you're rotating from the waist. We reach, think pinky to your pinky toe. Reach one, two, three. Come up to that side, rotate through your center. Okay, we're gonna speed it up. Rotate to the right. We reach three, two, one. Come up, inhale, center. Rotate left, reach those arms long and reach three, two, one, and up. 
We've got two more in all. Rotate to your right and reach. Get that length through the hamstrings. Three pulses. And up. Sit up tall. Rotate to your left. Rotating from the obliques. We reach. Three pulses. Reach one, two, three. Come up and sit up nice and tall. Good, you guys. And release the arms down. From here, I just want to take it into a little stretch for the IT band and the spine. So we're going to cross right foot over your knee. Okay, and I want you just to wrap your arm around that knee. Bring your other hand behind you. Okay, and you're just going to be bringing it up, spiraling to the right. And you're kind of pulling your leg to your center to get that stretch through the outer hip. Deep breath here. And then just unravel. Okay, and we're going to go into the other side. Crossing other leg. Wrap the arm around and almost think of kind of pulling on that leg. Sit up tall. We spiral. Deep inhale and deep exhale here. Nice, you guys. And then go ahead and unspiral from there. Okay. From here, I'm going to have you guys roll onto your backs. Okay, and I'm going to just do a couple hip rolls to roll or warm up the spine. And we're going to take an inhale, little imprint here, weight down through the feet, and you're going to roll up. Okay, and I want you to take energy out the front of your knees, get that length through the front of the hip. We exhale, roll down. And lengthen. Inhale, gentle tuck. Draw the ribs down and back. Heavy through the feet. Lift up, up, up. Think length through the front of the thighs. We exhale, roll down. And inhale, gentle tuck. Last time here. Lift up. Stay open through the collarbones. We exhale, roll down. Nice, you guys. And then from there, I want you just to think of kind of rotating your pelvis or your hips to the right. You're going to roll up to the right. You're going to rotate through your center. Rotate to your left. Roll down. Okay, so it's kind of like this little circle. Once you're down, rotate so your center. You're going to tilt or rotate the hips to the left. The knees kind of sway with you. Draw the belly in. Lift up to the left. Once you're it, up, you're going to rotate to your center. Drop your right hip slightly and lower it out. So this is just warming us up for the next exercise. And rotate back to your center. We're going to do one more to each side. We tilt to the right, okay? You're dropping that right hip down towards the floor. You lift up, up. Up, so you should fill out work through that right glute, right hamstring. We rotate center, drop your left hip, roll down that left side. Feels kind of nice, huh? We rotate to our center, dropping left hip, lift up, 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 rotate, drop the right hip, rolling down that right side. And rotate to your center here. Going into corkscrew. So I'm going to have you guys take an inhale. Right leg to tabletop. Exhale, draw belly in. Use your abs to lift the left leg to tabletop here. Legs are going to come straight up to the sky. My arms are reaching long on the mat. And I'm going to go with a flex ankle today. We're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to start letting the legs come over your head. Okay, so they're kind of in a hover. I'm reaching my fingertips long. My collarbones are wide. And I'm resting on the top of my shoulders, not on my neck here. Okay, so pay attention to where that weight is. I'm going to squeeze my legs together. And you're just going to do a little kind of shift to the right with the legs. Okay, from there, I want you to be rolling down through your right obliques. And you're almost thinking of pressing the legs towards the sky. 
to keep the back side of the legs active. Roll down to the right, legs lower, and they circle through your center. Inhale, lift up. Okay, so a lot of core control here. Press into your triceps. We exhale, roll over. Okay, legs zip together. I'm gonna do a little twist to the left, and I roll down that left side. You're thinking of drawing your left obliques away from your thighs. We lower down, lower legs, circle around to your center. Inhale. We exhale, draw the belly in, pipe the legs over, okay? Can you flex deeper into your ankles? Can you press the legs up towards the sky a little more? Can you draw the ribs back? Shift the legs to the right, and we roll down. As slow and controlled as you can, and lower down to the right, and inhale, lift the legs. Good, we exhale. Roll over. Okay, again, we press the legs up towards the sky. We rotate to the left, zip those legs together. We roll down that left side. Trying to keep tension out of our neck. I know it's hard. We lower to the left, circle through our center. Nice, you guys. Let's just cross our right knee over our left leg. And you're gonna let the legs drop over to the right. For a stretch through that outer left side and then just thinking your left shoulder stays grounded if you want you can take that arm out to the side palm up towards the ceiling to open through the chest here and then just coming back let's cross the other leg other arm will go out just think right shoulder is going to stay down here and we spiral to the other side. Really hug those legs together. Thanks, you guys. And coming back to our center. Good, and release it. So getting into a little more work here. We're gonna grab the mini ball, okay? And let's just take it out in front of us, legs together, and you're just gonna roll back as slow as you can, stay heavy through the feet. Think you're lengthening through the front of the hip all the way down here. Nice, you guys. We're gonna take legs straight up to the sky. So I talked about um, kind of our side body at the beginning. So we're gonna think about our lats and then our obliques with this. So I'm gonna have you take the ball over to your right shin, okay? My palm is pressing into the ball lightly. I'm not gripping, okay? I want that connection happening from the lat here, okay? And then firing into the right obliques. We're gonna bring right hand behind your head. And you're just gonna take an inhale, and I want you to exhale, do a little tiny curl and push into your ball. Okay, so it's nothing crazy. You're just pushing. Take an inhale, release, okay? My legs are even and they're zipping together nice and strong. We exhale, curl. Light tension into your ball and release. We're gonna do that two more times. Exhale, push. And release. And curl. Hold it here. Can you slide the ball up your leg? And down an inch. Up your leg. And down. Okay? Keeping the legs at the same angle. If you need to soften your knees, you can. But you're just thinking of keeping that light pressure so you get into the lats here. Little curl. Slide the ball up. We've got two more. And last time. Hold that curl. Can you twist a little deeper? Can you get your right shoulder off? You're gonna lower the leg. Okay, as you lift that leg, I want you to push it into that ball. Exhale, deep compression into the abs. We inhale, release a little bit through the ball. Reach that left leg long. Exhale, push into the ball. Notice how that pressure really makes those obliques fire. You get that deep, deep compression through the abdominal wall. We exhale, push. 
Nice, you guys, you've got two more. Can you deepen that rotation? Inhale. And exhale, press. And release, last time here. And push. Rotate to your center. We're gonna do the other side. Hey, we're only doing a couple reps because it is kind of a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna bring right hand across, left hand behind your head. First things first, we're just gonna exhale. You're gonna find your curl and just push into the ball. And mini release. We exhale, curl. Okay, if it's too much, you can bend your knees. We've got two more. Okay, and I'm thinking my shins are pulling to the ball as I push through my hand. I'm gonna hold it here. Can you deepen your rotation? Can you slide the ball up an inch? Little curls and down an inch. Keeping that pressure. Nice, you guys, starting to fill that burn. We've got two more. And last time we hold, deepen that twist, okay? You're gonna lower right leg down. As that leg lifts, you push into your ball. Deep pressure and lower. And lift. Good, you guys. And lower. And lift. Push, 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 push. We've got two more. Lower. And lift. And last time. Lower. Can you draw their ribs down deeper? And lift. Nice work. Let's bring the legs to tabletop. And we're just going to sway side to side here. Very nice, you guys. From here, we're just gonna come up, okay? And we're gonna bring that ball in between our hip bone and our bottom rib, okay? So it's gonna kind of prop us up into the sideline position. I'm just gonna move my band. Okay, and my elbow, elbow, or sorry, my hands are gonna come behind my head, okay? And I'm gonna reach my top leg long, okay? so. This is making me have to lift through my bottom rib. I'm drawing ribs back, belly back. Leg is long, other leg is bent and on the mat here. Okay, I'm gonna take an inhale. As I exhale, I wanna see if I can lift my bottom elbow off the mat. Okay, it's not very big, lower down. If you need to modify, bring your top hand in front to help lift you up, okay? Take it down. As you lift up, I want you to think you're lifting kind of out and then up, okay? So it's almost like you're doing like a arc. Lift up and down. Okay, we've got six more. Little lift and lower, tap it. It's not big, lift up and down and up and down. Let's go three more here, lift. And then just checking the ribs, we tend to wanna to kind of flare, see how deep you can really pull those back. Okay, lift off and down. We've got one more, lift off and down. Okay, let's just take a stretch overhead real quick. Reaching both arms long. Reach the leg away from you, like someone's pulling you apart from fingertips to toes, and then release. Okay, from here we're gonna bring elbow underneath us. Okay, so you're kind of in the side plank position, elbow under shoulder, and wrist in line with my elbow here, okay? I'm gonna lift, or sorry, let's bring both knees bent, okay? My feet are together, ribs are back, okay? And I'm going to think of lifting up away from the ball here. So I'm coming up into kind of this little mini side plank. Okay. The ball is still underneath me to give me some feedback. Okay. I'm pulling up away from it. From here, we spiral the top leg out. Okay. Getting into those deep rotators of the hip. Rotate down. Okay. 
okay? I'm actively lifting through my opposite leg and glute, okay? Make sure that's turned on and we spiral. Okay, if you need to, top hand can come in front and lower down. Okay, I'm gonna take arm up to the sky to add a challenge. We spiral. Okay, again, my feet are staying together. Okay, the rotation is happening from my outer, outer glute. And bring it down. And lift, belly fires. Nice work, you guys. Lower down. Nice and strong through the shoulder. Lift. And lower. We've got three more here. Spiral. And lower. Last two. Starting to feel that. Nice, you guys. And last time. And lower down. From here, you're going to just drop the hip. Okay, that ball is there to support you. And I want you to reach your top arm overhead. Okay, make sure it's not behind you. It's slightly in front of you. And you're going to spiral from the waist, okay, and reach that arm long. From there, my top leg reaches behind me, okay, so I'm kind of on this diagonal plane. You reach fingertips long. You're thinking of pulling your ribs up away from the ball. It's nice and active, so we're not sunk like this. We're lifted, okay? I'm gonna lift my back leg up and up. Again, I'm thinking of lifting from kind of my outer bottom booty area, okay? We lift, pulse and pulse. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, you guys, bringing it forward and back. Okay, my arm is still reaching kind of on this diagonal line. I sweep forward. I sweep back, okay? A lot of core work here. I sweep forward. I sweep back. And forward, let's flex. And point. So we're trying not to rock through the body and point. We've got one more set here, flex and point. Nice, you guys. Let's bring it down. You're gonna bring that top hand down kind of in front of you. Bring the other hand out so it's about shoulder distance apart. And you're just gonna stretch forward, okay? So kind of letting the ribs drop down into the ball, lifting up or out and then up, okay? Reach the back leg long. So you should feel that stretch through that left side body. One more breath here. Nice, you guys. And let's go ahead and go to the other side. So ball right underneath kind of the rib and hip or in between the rib and hip, okay? My top leg is reaching long. My bottom leg, I'm bent at the knee. My heel's kind of hugging up towards my booty so that top leg can be down to support me. And my hands are behind my head here, okay? Again, for a mod, you can bring your fingertips down on the mat to help you lift, okay? And it's not a cranking up, it's a lift out and then up like an arc, okay? Just a couple reminders there. Both hands behind your head, okay? I'm gonna take a deep inhale belly back, okay, and I'm lifting to a hover, so a lot of work through this top side oblique, and lower down, okay, my top leg stays reaching long as I lift, and lower, nice, you guys, if you need to adjust, do so, lift off, and tap it down, we've got five more, lift, and lower, and lift, Tiny movements are the hardest, right? Lift and lower. Last three and two and one and lower and go ahead, reach both arms long. Take that stretch. Think someone's pulling you apart from fingertips to toes. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then coming up from there. So, ball stays underneath, between the rib and the hip, okay? My elbow comes underneath my shoulder, rest in line with the elbow here, 
okay? And I'm gonna drag, so my feet are together, my knees are together, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, okay? From here, I'm thinking of lifting up from my bottom side, glutes, obliques, okay? That ball is there to give me, give me some feedback. So if you're sinking into it, think you're light on there, okay? Ribs are drawing in, I'm strong through my shoulder. From here, I spiral up and down, okay? I'm spiraling from my outer booty area and down. Bottom leg is pushing into the mat to help me stabilize and stay lifted. Thanks, you guys. We've got eight, uh, seven more. Pilates instructors are always the best counters, right? And spiral. Good, you guys. So good for the hips. And down. And lift. Okay, and remember, it's a spiraling of the hip joint. You spiral that knee towards the sky. And lower down. Let's go three more. Lift. Okay, can you lift a little more from your bottom side? Okay. And last two. And last time. Lift. And lower. Lower the hips down from there. Okay. Top leg's going to reach long. Okay. I'm still staying active even though my hips are down. Okay. And I'm going to just reach my top arm long. And little twist of the spine here. Okay. I'm going to reach my top leg back. Get some length. And then we lift. Ten times. And I'm thinking of pulling my ribs away from the ball. We've got five, four, three, two, one. I hold it here. Stay in the spiral in the upper body. I kick my leg forward and back. Okay, and that ball kind of adds in a little instability here, right? Because it tells us if we're rocking forward and back on it. And kick, flex. And point, belly draws in. We've got three more sets. Flex, kick forward, and point, draw belly back. Last two, and reach. Last one, get that length through the hamstrings, and reach. And then you're just gonna bring leg down, hand will come in front, and you're just gonna do a stretch here. So it's kind of a spiral, like a, co a cobra spiral. <laughs> Reach. One more breath here. And lower down. Nice you guys. Okay, from here, we're gonna put the ball off to the side for now. And we're gonna grab our um, TheraBand. And we're gonna come on to our bellies. So getting into some lat work, okay? And some kind of outer hip work here. So I'm going to take my band out in front of me. Okay, and I'm going to think my arms are in that kind of wide position, so not straight above, but kind of wider here, okay? My legs are hip distance apart, okay? And I'm just going to take an inhale. I'm going to exhale, draw my belly up. And I'm just going to think of lifting my chest, my head up slightly, okay? So I'm not cranking. I'm just drawing my eyes up the wall lightly, okay? I'm going to take an inhale, and I'm going to lift just my um, left arm off, okay? My right palm stays pressing into the mat to keep tension. And then from here, I exhale, I pull out to the side, okay? I inhale, release. I lift my right side, left arm stays, pulling out to the side. So it should be lats, lower down. I lift left. As I'm pulling that arm out to the side, I'm connecting to my belly a little more so I'm not getting lateral rotation or any twisting through the hips, okay? Just things to think about. We pull to the right. Just noticing my body is change, or staying the same height. It's not changing. It's just my arms, the back of my shoulders working, my lats, 
and then my core is stabilized and release. Okay, and then no crazy glute squeezing. Okay, they're connected but not death gripping. Okay, pull to the right and release and lower. We've got two more sets. Lift up and reach to the side and lengthen and lower and lift. Start to fill out through that side body. And reach, lower down, last set, checking with the belly, lift, exhale, pull, lengthen, lower down, and lift, exhale, sweep out to the side, it's not very big, and lengthen, release both hands, release the head down, shake it out, I like to wrap my hips right and left, right and left, just to release the low back. Okay, adding in um, some glute work. Okay, so I'm gonna take an inhale. Again, I'm gonna think of drawing my nose up the mat, eyes up the wall. Okay, I'm gonna take an inhale. Lift my right leg, my right arm, my left leg. Okay, as I sweep my arm out, I'm gonna take my leg out to this side and back. Okay, you can do a flex to reach out, pull and lengthen. Okay, we're gonna do eight of them in all. Reach, and up. Okay, so outer glute, lap, working to our cross chains, okay? Super important. Good, you guys, let's go four. And just making sure I'm not side bending, I'm staying center. Good, let's go three. And two, can you reach the arm longer? Can you reach the leg longer? And one. Release, lower down. Take a little break. We inhale, lift up. Drawing ribs and belly up and away from the floor. You're gonna lift the left arm up to a hover, right palm stays pressing actively into the mat, okay? And I'm lifted through the chest and the sternum. I lift my right leg up. Flex, think lifting from the glutes. And then I um, just bring it out to the side. Little pull. My leg reaches to the right, my arm reaches to the left. We've got eight. Good, you guys. Making sure we're not cranking into the low back. We've got last four here. Good, can you lift a little higher? Last two. And last time. Nice work, bring it down and release it. Okay, last thing here, we're gonna take an inhale. Let's take our legs out into lateral rotation, so turning toes and knees out slightly. I'm gonna take an inhale, and I'm gonna think reaching forward and then lifting up, okay? It's not huge. I'm not cranking into my low back to get my lift. I'm just thinking upper mid back. My arms are lifted in a hover, okay? And I'm gonna kind of think of spiraling my pinkies towards the floor a little bit. Little pulses out and out. 10, okay? So it's a little lat pulse. Exhaling. Can you lengthen up a little more? Last five, four, Three, two, one. Lift up a little higher. Make those back muscles work and lower down. Nice, you guys. Those are hard. Check it out. He's rocking right and left, right and left a couple times here. Take a nice deep inhale, nice deep exhale. Okay, well, let's just stretch it back into a child's pose while we're here. Reaching the arms long. Okay, so getting into um, some more oblique work, we're gonna bring that band right behind our rib cage. Okay, and then try to get it flush. Okay, and I'm gonna have 
one hand up flat, so my palm is flat. My band is in between my pointer and my thumb, okay? And I'm kind of on a diagonal, so I'm not right underneath my shoulder. My hand's kind of out from my shoulder, okay? And I'm gonna just pop up into a side kneeling position, okay? I'm kind of turning my knee out a little bit, so I'm not here, I'm here. That just allows more room for my hip, okay? And my top leg is reaching long, my arms are reaching long, okay? And I like to think rather than here, my arms are slightly in front of the body, okay? To get that tension through the back um, ribs into the band, okay? So I'm gonna take an inhale and I'm gonna exhale and I'm just gonna spiral. As I do this, I'm thinking of kind of puffing up into the band through my back ribs. I inhale, spiral back open and I'm reaching, reaching, reaching my fingertips away from each other. I exhale, push into that top foot to stay um, balanced here. I rotate, I think of pulling the ribs up, almost like you're puffing. Inhale, spiral back. Last time like this, we exhale, spiral, lift up through the bottom side, those bottom obliques, and lengthen. Good, you guys, keep those arms reaching. I'm just gonna adjust my hand here, okay? Again, I'm thinking of pulling my ribs back. I'm gonna take an inhale, exhale, step my back leg up to meet my top, okay? So I'm in this nice, strong um, side plank position. I'm gonna inhale, lower my hips halfway down. My arm stays reaching as I lower hips, lift up. We've got five, lower down. Top arm stays reaching long, lift. Zip those inner thighs together, we lower. And lift, lift up, 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 out of that bottom side. Make your rainbow, inhale, lower. And lift. We've got one more, lower. And lift. Release bottom leg, release top leg. Release the arms, let's just shake it out really quick. And then we're going to go to the other side. So band will come right behind the ribs. Okay. I like palm flat on my mat side arm. And then other arm's going to reach up to the sky. My bottom leg is going to be slightly turned out. Top leg's reaching long. And the inside of my foot is pushing into the mat here. Okay, I'm staying lifted, so I'm not here, I'm here. I take my inhale, I exhale, I scoop the belly as I start rotating towards the mat. Okay, can you reach that top leg longer? Feel that stretch through the outer hip. And inhale, spiral back. I reach my arms long, I exhale. I think you're puffing up into the tension of that band. And rotate center. Good, you guys, if you need it, just do so. I rotate. And back. Nice, getting into a little more work here. I take my inhale, I exhale, reach my bottom leg to meet my top. Okay, I'm gonna lower my hips. Lower, reach my top arm long. And lift, drawing the wrist back into your band. Lower, and lift. We've got five in all, this is three. And scoop those bottom ribs. Last two. Can you zip the legs together more? Last time. Nice, you guys, and release. Okay, take that band away. Let's shake it out for a second. Nice work there. Okay, you're gonna set the band off to the side. Okay, we're gonna come into a plank position here. Okay, so I'm gonna have hands underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna take my inhale, press one leg out. Use my exhale, scoop the belly, reach the opposite leg back, okay? And we're gonna do what's called a grasshopper push-up. Um, I'm gonna have you take an inhale. You're gonna cross one leg over, okay? So I'm kind of in this twisted position with my legs. Do a little tiny push-up here. Use those right obliques as you extend up. Bring that right leg back to meet your left. 
we rotate. Bring the left leg across the body, spiral through the hips, tiny push up here. And lift up. And bring it through and back. And twist. Reach that leg to the opposite side. Push up. And lift. And bring it in. And back. We're going nice and slow. Little twist with the hips. Bring that leg across the body. Push up. And lift. Good. Bring it through. We've got one more on each. Slide that leg across. Reach that leg along. Push up. Bring it through and back and rotate. So hard, you guys. Good. And push up. And bring it through. Bring the knees down. Let's take a stretch back. Taking an inhale, taking an exhale here. From here, we're gonna come onto our bellies. Okay, if you wanna use a hand towel underneath your forehead, you can. I'm just gonna take my hands um, into a diamond shape for my forehead to rest into, okay? So getting into some inner thigh work, you're gonna reach the legs long, hip distance apart here, okay? Scooping the belly button up away, ribs up and away, so there should be a little gap here. You're gonna take an inhale, and I want you to lift your right leg to a hover. Okay, notice where you're lifting from. If you bent the knee and lifted from the bottom, the lower leg, see if you can squeeze the booty, use the glutes to lift that leg up. Okay, from here we hold it. You're gonna flex at the ankle and the foot, and I want you to bring it across the body or into the center line of the body. Okay, so getting into the inner thighs, the adductors, bring it out and down. You lift up. You're gonna pulse across the body, two. Bring it across and down. We lift up, we pulse across the body three times. Okay, trying not to um, wiggle in the body as we do those pulses. We lift off. Pulse across, four, three, two, one, lower down. Lift off. So as you pulse across, I want you to think that upper inner leg. Five pulses here. My belly is strong. There's no tension in my neck and shoulders. And lower down. We're going to reverse it. You lift up. You start at five. Pulse five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Lift off. We've got four, three, two, one. And lower. Each time you pulse that leg across, little exhale, 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 and lower. Can you get that leg longer? Lift. Pulse two. Lower down. We lift off. Pulse one. Lower down. Release that right side. Going to left side. Reach that leg long. Flex at the ankle, the foot. Think glutes to lift that leg off to your hover. We cross over once. And lower. Lift up. Pulse two. And lower. Lift off. Again, it's the upper inner leg. Okay? Kind of attaches up into your groin. This is where I want you to be feeling the work. Lift and pulse. Okay, I'm not cranking into my low back. Should be all in the glutes and inner thigh. Pulse four. Three. Two. One, and lower. This is set, five. Lift off, and pulse across the body. Last two, one, lower down. We work down from five. Lift off, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Lower, lift, four, three, two, one. Lower, lift. Good, starting to fill that. And lower. This is set two, pulse one, two, and lower. Lift, pulse across once, and lower down. Nice, you guys. Okay, let's just take a stretch really quick. I'm gonna take my knees wide so I get more of a stretch through my inner thighs. 
Taking an inhale, taking an exhale here. And then just coming up. Okay, just a couple more things. So we're gonna bring, I'm gonna come up to a kneeling position actually. My band is gonna come back behind my ribs. Okay, and I'm gonna take my arms out to a T. Okay, and I'm reaching my arms as long as I can so my shoulder blades go really wide and I'm not here, I'm in front of my body, okay? So get that length through the front of the chest, length through the back. I'm pulling my ribs back into my band and I'm just gonna go into a side bend here, okay? So lateral flexion, and it's gonna be a little less than you think, okay? And then inhale back, okay? So if this is happening, um, see if you can find a little more connection, make the shoulders work. Can you reach the arms apart to get that tension through the band, and then they drag the ribs back, okay? Getting a little side stretch and lift up. And reach, 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 reach. I was finding more connection in the side bend with the band. Reach, reach, reach. And lift. Okay, and then we're gonna go to kind of a butterfly mod. So I'm gonna have you um, think side bend, reach the arms long. And then you're gonna do a little spiral. Okay, and then you're just gonna rotate, bring the arms back to a T. You're gonna do your side bend, and then think you're spiraling, push through that top side arm, and then just unravel. We're gonna do two more of those. Side bend over, rotate, rotate, rotate. Again, I'm drawing my ribs back into my band. Inhale, unspiral, and lift up, 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 get that side stretch, and then spiral. Should feel good. And then I just want you to take the arms out to a T, open through the chest, lift up through the chest and the sternum here. Can you reach those fingertips apart? And then go ahead and release it. Nice, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that side body workout. Um, I know I felt that burn. Uh, we will see you next time. Thank you for joining me today.